Welcome to first React Native tutorial on Windows. First, go to facebook.github.io slash react-native. First, what we will be doing is we will be installing Node.js, uh, the latest version. Once you install, you can install React Native using NPM. NPM stands for Node Package Manager. NPM install dash G. G dash G stands for global for installing React Native in a global location. React dash native dash clean. And this will actually install React Native using NPM. After that, I want you to type react dash native in it my first rn project rn stands for react native this one takes a couple of minutes so I'm gonna pause it there it's done and this is the folder that just got created with all the files now, uh, before we start our Android project, we first have to install Android Studio. And in order to do that, you actually have to install JDK because Android Studio requires JDK, Java Development um, Kit. So first, go to um, just Google search JDK 8 and you should be uh, in this page and install the latest Java 8, JDK 8. In this case, I'm going to be installing 66 Windows 64 bit. Once you got that, you can go to developer.android.com slash SDK and you can click on download Android Studio for Windows. Agree and download Android Studio for Windows and save file. This might take a while. Um, I already installed Android Studio on my computer. It's loading. There you go. And I'm going to open an existing Android Studio project. In here, I'm going to go to the folder, go to Android, copy the link, paste and press OK. There you go. And I want you to go to SDK Manager and click on standalone SDK manager and in here you need to install which which I think should be installed already um, you should update these two the SDK tool and SDK platform tools to the latest version you need to install the latest SDK build tools um, in this case, I have to install the one before because that's required by React Native. For more information specifically regarding what package needs to be installed, go to facebook.github.io slash React Native and docs and go to Android Setup. And if you scroll down, it will tell you what you need. Uh, in this case, we'll be using Android 6, Documentations for Android SDK, SDK Platform, Intel x86 64-bit image, and Intel 86 32-bit um, image, and sources. And we'll also use Android Support Repository, Android Support Library, Google USB Driver, 
an Intel x86 emulator. This is only possible in Intel CPU, which I'm using i5 at this moment. Um, if you don't have Intel CPU, uh, I suggest you use uh, your own Android device because it will be very slow. Once you got that installed, I want you to go to AVD Manager and if you don't have any devices, uh, you can create virtual devices by clicking on this icon. In this example, I'll be using Nexus 5, Android 6, and 64-bit. It may take longer if you're running this for the very first time and I experience sometimes it may freeze when you do it for the very first time. In that case you may have to simply just restart the emulator. At this point we no longer need Android Studio so I'm gonna be closing it. Okay, while we wait for the emulator to load, I'm going to be installing Sublime Text 3 by going to sublimetext.com slash 3 Windows 64 bit installer. Once that's installed, you can see a Sublime pop up. I want you to go to packagecontrol.io slash installation for Sublime Text 3, copy all this text and in the Sublime press Ctrl and Grave Accent which is the key beside the one paste everything you just typed I copy it, press enter it may take a moment to install the package control and once that's done you should be able to Press Ctrl Shift P to open up Package Control Installer. By typing PCI, you can see PCI package. Click on the first one. Oh, I'll do that again. And then once that once a new window pops up, type in Bubble. And what this allows us to do is um allows us to view the React native syntax in a very nice way. Next I'm going to go to File, Open Folder, go to Desktop, and find the project that was created which um, was my first RM project, which is this one. Once you open, you can see index.android.js. I want you to go to view, syntax, open all exten current extensions as bubble and JavaScript bubble. You will see that your syntax is very nicely highlighted at this point. After that, I want you to go into your folder, my first React project, type in react-native run-android, ensure your emulator is unlocked, and wait for this to install. Now you can see that it's installing. I want you to open up another command line by shift right click open command window here and then type react-native start. React-native comes oh you have to
go open up command line from this window and then I want you to type react-native start react-native comes with uh, two things one is a react uh, like a, one is a native side of like native Android app which I already got it running but it also has a JavaScript side and this react by typing react-native start, it will start React Native Packager, which allows the native job, uh, Android app to download its JavaScript side from the native side, from the nat uh, React Native Packager. So if you press reload at this point, it will start downloading the JS main bundle onto your app. And there you go. Uh, one last thing I want you to sh want to show is that you can see if you go to index.android.js, welcome to React Native is actually coming from here. If you change welcome to React Native to welcome to um, first React Native tutorial and press save. And at this point, just press F2 and press reload. And there you go. And I want you want to show you something more cool, which is this is a live reload. I haven't saved it yet. Press F2 again. And <coughs> at this point, I'm going to disable the live reload and enable the right live reload. Um, and then press save and there you go it actually reloads on the fly and that took less than a second let me know if you have any other questions and thank you so much for watching see you on the next tutorial